The Breville Barista Express was undeniably one of the world's most popular all-in-one beginner espresso machines from the day it was released. And now Breville have finally given it a long overdue refresh in the form of this, the Barista Express Impress. It has some pretty interesting new features built in, but it also left me a little bit confused in some of the decisions they made for this machine. Stay tuned to find out why. Before we get going, I do want to just quickly say that this is not a sponsored video in any way. I purchased this machine with my own money and at full price. If you want to check your own local pricing, I will have it linked down in the description below. Espresso machines with built-in grinders are seemingly a dying breed. Personally, I still think this is a hugely underserved market segment, as beginners often look for an all-in-one system that doesn't have the same drink quality limitations as a full super automatic. Breville continues to lead this built-in grinder segment with an iron fist, and because of that, hasn't necessarily felt too much pressure to refresh their design language. The new Barista Express Impress is a perfect example of that. Although they've packed in a new tamping system, the overall design and shell are effectively identical. Love it or hate it, they're not going anywhere fast. But I'm sure many people will be relieved to see that the analog pressure gauge is here to stay. In terms of build quality, the story is much the same. There is a full metal shell, and the plastic that is used is not that thin, brittle plastic, but it's more of a thick, rubbery material that they use on the rest of their lineup. One difference is now the inclusion of a tamping handle, which I am happy to report they made out of metal as it is a high frequency touch point. But on the flip side, the cover of the new tamping system is plastic fake chrome, which is a bit of a letdown. Other than that, there is the same large removable water reservoir, hot water outlet, single hole steam arm, and convenient storage department behind the drip tray. Day-to-day -day user experience is by far the place where the Impress differentiates itself from the base Barista Express and the rest of the Breville lineup. Puck prep can be a daunting task for beginner baristas. How much do I dose? How hard do I tamp? Am I tamping level? Why is my dose changing as my grind setting changes? It's a lot to handle, and the Impress is trying to do away with that frustration by taking control over this process and doing it in a quite clever way. First, let's address the elephant in the room. The Impress is not the first machine on the market to do this. The DeLonghi we looked at was doing this years ago. Unfortunately, the rest of that machine was a little disappointing. But if you recall, at the end of that review, I actually said, I do wish that the Breville had some of these features from the Prestigio. However, the way that Breville has chosen to integrate this is even more clever and potentially even more helpful to new espresso users. You insert the port filter, grind your beans straight in, and then pull down on the lever to tamp. The machine will then look at the tamp and determine whether or not that was the right amount of grounds or not based on the tamping depth. If there isn't enough, it will prompt you to grind again and then check again. Now, this might seem like a tedious process and that's because it is. However, you only have to do this the first time. After that, the machine learns how much it dosed last time and adjusts accordingly. So the next coffee you make is as simple as grinding, tamping once, and brewing. Pretty clever. And just like the first time I used an integrated tamper, this one surprised me as well at just how much it improved the workflow. The process really isn't any different than the excellent but prohibitively expensive Breville Oracle, which also tamps for you. This system comes in a very close second and is really one of the easiest home espresso machines I have used in a very long time. For beginners, it seems almost like a no-brainer that will almost certainly save Breville from some frustration returns that I guarantee they see with the more manual models like the Barista Pro. When it comes to cleaning, this magnetic cover can be removed, giving you access to the ground chute and tamper base. 
Now, workflow is one thing, and we've seen that the Barista Express Impress has that in spades. But what about actual espresso quality? When you introduce an automatic step to your process, there can be a trade-off in quality for that convenience. And this was a big concern of mine. Because you are tamping immediately after grinding, there is no opportunity to redistribute or even out the grounds, a critical step in puck preparation. However, in practice, it just didn't seem to matter all that much. I really wanted to make fun of Breville for this seemingly quite large oversight, but it appears that the larger dose they're using, in combination with a slightly smaller 54 mm portafilter, allows this system to be less sensitive to initial grind distribution issues. I didn't really have any problems with shot consistency or visible channeling throughout my testing, which left me a little perplexed, but I guess in a good way. Still, I do want to dock Breville some points for not even making distribution an option for those who might have wanted it. You physically cannot remove the portafilter from this grinding cradle without tamping. Otherwise, you will spill grinds absolutely everywhere. Other than those tamping considerations, the Barista Express Impress is a well-appointed espresso machine. It has 25 grind steps, which is more than the base Express, allowing you to dial in more accurately. It has the ability to adjust brewing temperature, program in two different shot sizes, or extract manually, and it runs at a traditional nine bars at the group head, which is a great thing to see in a machine at this level. Many manufacturers will try to trick consumers by touting really high pressure numbers on their espresso machines, because bigger is always better, right? When in reality, if you're using a single wall filter basket and you're grinding your own beans, nine bars is where you want to be. That allows you to get a nice, even, slow extraction. Any higher actually becomes a negative because it will start to encourage channeling and it makes it really hard to get consistent shots back to back. So don't buy into the hype. Higher pressures are not always better. Nine bars is where you want to be. Finally, let's actually touch on how much this automatic tamping system is dosing. In my experiments, once I was dialed in, I typically found it was putting me around 19 grams. Now this will vary a little bit depending on if you're grinding coarser or you're grinding finer. However, at the same grind setting, it was remarkably consistent from shot to shot, never varying by more than 0.5 grams, which is pretty impressive. If you do have a particular dose in mind, you can also tell the machine to manually dose using its timed dose adjustment, which is a good option for those who want a little bit more control when aiming for a specific brewing recipe. Probably the biggest shock for me when it came to the new Impress was the fact that Breville has stuck with the older, slower heating system. You won't really notice this for espresso brewing, but when it comes to steaming, the slower transition speed and steaming power will definitely be felt. The old Barista Express was a slow steamer, and this new version is no different. Steaming one drink will take you around 75 seconds once the machine gets up to temperature. One advantage of this, if you can say that, is that it can be easier for beginners to practice their technique on a less powerful machine with a single hole steam tip. However, overall, I can't help but feeling a little bit disappointed that this brand new machine doesn't have the newer and faster thermojet heating system that's found in the Barista Pro. If you're only serving maybe one or two steamed drinks at a time, this won't be a big issue, but if you're serving more than that back to back to back, that can become a time-consuming task. So, with that mix of excellent workflow, good espresso quality, and slightly underwhelming steaming performance, who is this machine for? Beginner baristas. Breville has clearly taken dead aim at reducing the frustration associated with first-time baristas and the puck prep and dialing in process. And for all intents and purposes, they have accomplished that with the Barista Express Impress. The puck prep and dialing in process really is shockingly simplified with this machine. And if you are buying for someone who has never made an espresso in their life, then this is a pretty safe bet in getting their foot in the door of at-home espresso making. 
With that being said, you are paying for ease of use. And if you have made espresso before and you are comfortable with puck prep, then you are probably better served going with the Barista Pro. It is completely redesigned, it is better looking, and has way better steaming performance. It really just depends on your capacity to faff around with making espresso first thing in the morning. So, I will have both those machines I mentioned linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.